Hi, this is Jay Johnson with WindowPurchase.com and today we are going POV. I've had a lot of requests to kind of walk the customer through, um, I'm going to call it customer perception. You have three companies come out. You're looking at casement windows that crank out and let's just say they're all made out of the same material. Maybe you have three wood companies out, three vinyl companies out, three fiberglass companies out, or maybe you're getting one of each. Well, let's look at some differences because there are some huge differences only when you know what to look for. A common problem with casements, not all of them, but most of them, is these screws like to start coming out. Every time you crank that window in and out, those suckers get jerked on. Well, there's a solution to that. Don't just do three horizontal screws. This design here you could see as three horizontal screws, but then you see the one vertical one right there. That vertical one keeps these three screws from getting tugged on and jerked out every time you crank that window in and open. Furthermore, you have the screws biting into a composite block. It doesn't expand or contract, it doesn't absorb moisture, it's not going to affect the energy efficiency. So the screws aren't just running through the material of the window frame, they're running into a material that's going to keep those screws from backing out. So which one of these three windows might have this system? Well, here you can see this hardware attaches to the side with three, three screws. Um, there's, it's not a good support structure from underneath because it's coming in from the side and it looks aesthetically ugly. The window's white. Well, maybe you also wanted it stained wood. Whatever color you want the inside of the window, wouldn't you rather see the color instead of the ugly hardware? The other problem with this window, for the height, it has one locking system on it, and the sash is only one inch in depth. So that's not going to compete with the wall on much of a level because it's only one inch. This company here, same height of window, you got two locks, this is a two and a half inch sash. It is triple weather stripped. The hardware, the way they address it, is it's all going in from underneath. More structurally supportive, a lot more aesthetically beautiful from the inside. And that company also gives you an upgrade depending on which material you get from them. They go to the heavy-duty hardware, which is on your left, and the regular hardware is on the right. But it depends on the material, and it depends on the width and the height of the window, because you can't keep making a casement window wider and taller and increasing the glass weight without addressing it by putting in different hardware. So what I'm trying to say is all hardware is not created equal, and there is no one-size-fits-all. Here on this window, you have the same problem as the first one. Three screws going in the side. Aesthetically ugly, not a good support structure. They also used round head screws, which I can't figure out. At least the other two companies used flat head screws, which you can see here, flat heads. This also only has double weather stripping. And this piece here is one of the junkiest pieces of weather stripping I've ever seen. So there's big differences in these windows. Now the ones on the ends double pane glass only. Well that's going to severely limit your performance ratings because when you walk into a room if you've ever felt it's too hot, too cold, too noisy or too much fading of the floor or back of the couch well look at the window and then how much of that window is glass? About 90 percent. So if you cannot do triple pane glass as an option in a window it's going to affect 90% of the comfort level in that room. Anyway, most customers, if they were to have these three companies out, would have missed a lot of things I pointed out. There's other things I could point out as well, but this is good enough for the video. We got screws, we got how it's attached, we got the type of hardware, where the hardware comes in under, whether or not it's heavy duty hardware or normal hardware. And again, going back to this piece, this is very avoidable on casement windows, but unfortunately most casement windows aren't made to go directly to the homeowner. They're made to wholesale out the dealers, and that's what really limits them on making a better window. You can't use better parts, you can't use better components. You have to understand that the majority of windows on the market are not designed to be great. 
They're designed to wholesale out to dealers, and they're designed to look pretty when they're new. Anyway, I hope that helps. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and keep looking out for more videos. Thank you so much.